Hello Virgo and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is a reading for you for the 14th to the 28th of February 2021. And that's from the that's at the second half of February. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And I'm using the Rhyme and Reason cards from the Witchwood Oracles to draw a couple of cards for you, just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious oracle has for Virgo for the 14th to the 28th of February 2021. What messages are here for Virgo for the second half of February this year? What does Virgo need to know now? So let's just fan the deck out and pick a couple of cards. There you go. Let's see what you get. Oh, you get the sun and the wheelbarrow. Right, working hard. The wheelbarrow is a card of industry. Good luck may flow, but also drain. Hard work will bring a sure gain. So it looks like you're putting your back into something, putting your shoulder to the wheel and a lot of effort. And out of that effort, a lot of production. So industrious period for you. And, you know, you've also got the sun, which sort of shows like um, high aspirations as well as... Um, you know, the sun often indicates joy and success. In this particular deck, it, it leans towards the intensity of the sun. It's a card of intensity. Fly too close and what falls back? Feathers, splints and ceiling wax. That's um, referring to the, um, the myth of Icarus who um, built himself wings and it was working really well but he flew too close to the sun and it melted the wax that held the feathers together and he fell to the earth. So it sort of indicates that you know working hard, being industrious and very productive but don't overdo it just enough to enjoy the success and um, sense of accomplishment but not overdoing it to um, exhaust yourself so there's that's the oracle message for you and let's see where the rest of the reading takes us so let's see what's on the cards for Virgo for the 14th to the 28th of February 2021. What messages are here for Virgo for the second half of February this year? What does Virgo need to know now? This is the Dark Mansion Tarot, and I'll be doing the usual eight cards spread for you. See, with the first two cards depicting you where you are now, the second two cards highlighting the challenges that you face at this time, and perhaps even what's brought you to where you are. And then beneath that, we have. A message, two cards indicating a message from divine energies. And then the final two cards may reveal your possible outcome. Right, so let's see what you get. Oh, you have the Fool. Hang on, I think you've got two cards. 
cards there. Yeah, You've got the Fool and the Seven of Cups. That's lovely beginning cards. The Fool is all about starting a new beginning, a new journey, and possibilities, opportunities. And then you've got your um, challenge cards are the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Lots of beginnings are there already. And then you've got the Sun in your Guidance card. And also the Two of Cups. That's lovely. And then your um, outcome cards are the World and the Four of Cups. So it certainly seems doing a lot. And this really fits in with the Sun as well, you know, overdoing it, um, having too much. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups which is um, sort of indicating that there is some sense of um, sorrow, loss. Um, that you may need to work through or that perhaps is urging you onto this new path. So there's. Um, The, this is like a mourning card and it sort of indicates loss um, that has really hurt you, that sort of left you feeling downhearted. However, all was not lost because there's still hope, there's still that opportunity awaiting and if you look out the window it's a new day dawning. So I get a sense, you know, picking yourself up from having mourned a loss um, and beginning something new. Put that there actually for today because it, it feels like it comes from that side of the reading. So there you have a new beginning. You know, as with as with everything, endings often open the path to new beginnings. As one door shuts, another opens. And um, I get a sense here that. Um, this new dawning, you know, you're starting to feel, you're starting to recover from some loss, some regret. And um, you're taking a leap of faith. There's possibilities opening up for you, but you're not sure which ones are tangible, which ones to go with. Um, do they, Perhaps none of them really seem real. Um, reachable but they're they're opening up you're beginning to look at new things now from having lifted your head from despair from concentrate or from focusing on the loss you're now ready to begin focusing on new things on new beginnings now with the fool you know he's um, innocent he's pure he's untainted and um, has a faith in um, you know, faith in, in, in fate that everything will just fall into place as it's needed. The, the downside, what we have to look out for when we take these, oh, that's the cat, I hope you can't hear you. The downside we have to, to, fa to I mean, the, the dark side of the fool is that sometimes he can be foolish, he can be a bit daft. So it's sort of, you know, um, I think bringing this regret here along with you although the fool carries little baggage of it may sort of that that learning you you, you learn from loss you know, sort of may heed you well as you take this leap of faith um but there you go sort of a new face happiness now he's sort of like put on his smile and he's he's going for it and there's his conscious conscience sort of cautioning him don't be daft but he he believes that this can come out so the fool in the stick really makes me laugh his little face <laughs> but anyway so there you have a new beginning um taking a leap of faith and not quite sure where it's going things don't seem tangible yet they don't seem real but you're going for it anyway and there's your challenge is to take a, a new opportunity, a new beginning, 
something creative or something work related has come your way, there's the seed, there's this potential to really build something up in a creative and, and um, innovative way using your passion, your desire for it to spur you on. And um, you have the page of ones here, sort of there's your challenges, taking that potential and doing something with it. Um, you know, the page knows that there's a long way to go to the end result. But if he is willing to learn as he goes and um, embrace this with a sense of adventure, he knows he can, he can get somewhere. And there's your challenge is to take that leap of faith, harness that potential and put it into action with a sense of a spirit of adventure and um, excitement feel that actual um, drive, that enthusiasm, which, you know, your sense of loss here may taint, may hold back, hold you back. So there's your challenge. And then your guidance card, of course, is the sun, which shows that you can be successful in this. This can bring great joy to you and uh, success and things opening up clarity. But using our oracle card as well to help us in the reading we know that it's also saying don't um don't don't go wild um don't fly too high don't set your goals too high just take things one step at a time um but there's certainly a great potential for joy and and um happiness in this endeavor it's sort of a very positive thing overall but don't overwork yourself <laughs> um and there there you've got you know the card of industry um sort of it indicates that this endeavor may may need a lot of work and it sort of shows you keeping busy um and being very productive in your focused and um enthusiastic Um, in your focused and enthusiastic embracing of this opportunity. And it also hints here at some sort of collaboration or bond. This is Two of Cups indicates um, a new beginning for a, a new connection, a new bond forming. And this particular deck shows it in a very romantic light but as it's a general reading we'll just say that um, a partnership may be formed you may connect with someone um, in this um, path that you're embarking on and you know th this connection bodes well it has the potential <laughs> sorry about the cat it has the potential to become something that is um, deeply rooted and strongly connected um, and has, you know, a lot of growth and um, closeness and harmony in it. So it's a, there's a bond forming here, a connection forming that has good potentials to go the distance and to provide you with happiness. So it takes you then on into a new phase, a new beginning. And this is wonderful. This is the first card of the major arcana. And there's the last card. So it sort of shows that you'll be stepping into a new role, um, a sense of completion. And um, it, that sort of sense of completion is a very positive one. It sort of shows a, a new growth and potential just continuing to open up. So you're on a very good start here. Virgo, um, as you step into this new role, you may well actually feel that you may well, there is this fear, there's this possibility that because it's going so well, you may overdo things and exhaust yourself. You may then get to a point where you feel a bit down again, you sort of gone up too high and then you come down and um, you feel overwhelmed perhaps having reached cessation point. And um, that sort of bodes with fits in well with these two you know like working really hard being very productive but then exhausting yourself and then in that state of exhaustion you may not feel or you may not be aware of a, a new opportunity arising 
So you just may feel that you need to rest. You've had too much. Um, too much too soon almost, too intensely. Let's put them here. So there you have it, Virgo. It's sort of really strong, vibrant, positive energies for you in the next couple of weeks. A new beginning, um, and it's sort of connected to leaving behind a, a disappointment, um, a regret, and opportunities opening up. And if, you know, it sort of shows you having um, the potential to really harness an opportunity that is um, that has the, the 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 promise or the potential to go the distance with you and and something that you can really build up. Um, it sort of it just seems that something really excites your passions here, but don't overdo things because you could become exhausted. But certainly a new bond may be forming and you'll feel yourself stepping into a new role, stepping into a new phase. So it's all very positive. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Virgo, and that it resonated with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. And then have yourself a wonderful two weeks. And God bless you till we meet again.